Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rahul and today in this episode we'll talk about the shutter and the shutter speed. So I had already created a video on the aperture and if in case you haven't seen it, the link will be in the description and in the i button. So you may go there and watch that video. So when you talk about the DSLR that is the digital single lens reflex, the reflex word here describes the availability of the mirror inside the camera body. So when the light coming from the object enters the aperture, it directly hits the mirror first. So the mirror reflects the light to the penta prism available in front of the optical viewfinder. And this is how you're able to view an object from the optical viewfinder. While if we talk about smartphones or the mirrorless camera, we do not have any such mirror. And therefore, the object is electronically transferred to the viewfinder. So moving ahead with the shutter. Shutter is just behind the mirror. Now as soon as we click the shutter button, the mirror flips open. And this is the reason why you cannot see anything from the optical viewfinder as soon as you click the shutter button. Because the mirror now is not at that particular angle. As soon as the mirror flips open, the light coming from the object directly hits the shutter. It totally depends on what value we have set for the shutter speed and the shutter opens for that prescribed moment and then closes and within this time the light hits the sensor and this is how the photograph is taken so with this now we know that shutter speed is actually the time that is for how long the light will hit the sensor and as we had read earlier in the episode second that aperture controls how much light should enter the camera. Now moving ahead on how to change the values of the shutter speed or how to set the values for the shutter speed. So the values of the shutter speed can be changed using this dial. Now while we rotate this dial, we can clearly see values changing in the shutter speed menu. So the values that you see changing in the shutter speed menu are actually represented in fraction of seconds or seconds. So the values that you see here in simple numbers like 125, 250, 500, 1000 and so on are actually 1 by 125th of a second, 1 by 500th of a second, 1 by 1000th of a second. And the values that are preceded with two apostrophe symbol are actually in seconds like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Now the range available in your camera depends from model to model. The slowest shutter speed that we can get is 30 seconds and the fastest shutter speed that we can get is 1 by 8,000th of a second. So here 5 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds are example of slow shutter speed while 1 by 125th of second, 1 by 500th of a second or 1 by 8,000th of a second are example of fast shutter speed. So apart from all these shutter speed options, we do have two more modes. One of them is the bulb mode and the other one is the time mode. So bulb mode is an option where the shutters open when you click the shutter button and it remains open till the time you do not release the button. So as soon as you release the camera shutter button, the shutter also closes. So this time period can be more than 30 seconds also. Well moving ahead with the time mode, so time mode is a function where the shutter opens when you click the shutter button and it does not closes back even after you release the shutter button. It will close only if you click the shutter button once again. So an important question arises when to use a slow shutter speed and when to use a faster shutter speed. So slow shutter speed are used when you are in a low lit conditions and to maintain the exposure you have to use a slow shutter speed while you can use a faster shutter speed when you are in a well lit conditions. When you think that the background lights are sufficient enough to control the exposure. Now for a faster moving objects, for example a car, if you want to click the image of the fast moving car, then in that case you have to use a faster shutter speed because slower shutter speed will give you a blurred image. And if you want to capture a still object, maybe a car then in that case you may use a slow shutter speed to compensate for the light. Well, an important thing to note here is that the slow shutter photography requires the use of a tripod and it is mandatory to keep your camera still to avoid any camera shake. Yet another thing to note here is when you're clicking a handheld image 
then make sure that the shutter speed is at least equal to the focal length that you are shooting at. For example, if you are shooting at 100 mm, make sure that the shutter speed should be at least 1 by 100. It can be faster than that also. That is, it can be at 1 by 250, 1 by 500 or even further. But it should be at least equal to the focal length that you are shooting at. So if you like this video, go and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.